Dearest Yosef Yitzchak, As Mommy and I proudly stand here today, as you celebrate your Upshernish, we want to share a special message with you. A message about your name and your birthday. Though you may not appreciate it all today, as you grow and mature, we hope you can look back at this and glean a lot of strength from it. Yosef, in January of 1950, on your birthday, on the 10th day of the Jewish month of Shvat, the 6th Rebbe, named Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak Schneerson, the one after whom you are named, he passed away. For a Jewish people desperate for direction, barely four years after the Holocaust, his passing left a gaping void. From around the world, Jews implored and petitioned his son-in-law to lead, to serve as the next link in the chain. But for a full year, he refused. And then it happened. On the evening of the first anniversary of Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak's passing, on that same 10th day of Shvat, January 1951, on that night, the Rebbe addressed a small audience in Chabad World Headquarters. With perfect clarity, the Rebbe laid out the mission statement of his leadership. Today in America is a halamola seder a deshte zach will herna statement. Und der statement da darf gesagt ne bis mit a fidus dover mit a imi was was a marvelous sarai. I bemele dos wich wissen sie das darf marvel sein es sarai. No bereme will herna statement oder rebe gesagt als do drei sachen. Als do avas is Hashem und so do avas ater und so do avas isro. Und auch die alle drei Sachen sind in Kulle Chad. Das ist, dass wir nicht voneinander stehen. Zwischen einer haben wir die zweite. Wir müssen das alle wissen, aber ich habe es mir abzuholen, ohne was Hashem ist das nicht eine Sache, was wir können damit jetzt sein. Wir können damit helfen, eben mit dem Abend zu tun und eben mit dem Abend zu tun. The Rebbe's words created a paradigm shift. They heralded a revolutionary change in Jewish life. No longer would the focus be limited to building a tight-knit Jewish community. That love for God, it had to be shared with each and every Jew in each and every corner of the world. Indeed, energized by the Rebbe's words, young couples began to become his shluchim. They moved away from the community in Brooklyn and began to establish Chabad houses and communities across the globe. They began to unite the Jewish people under the banner of Torah and mitzvahs. Yosef, 17 years ago, Mommy and I joined that army of Shluchim. Motivated by those very words of the Rebbe, we moved to the Tri-Valley to open a Jewish lighthouse, to share the joys and the warmths of Judaism with our fellow brothers and sisters. And here we are today, 71 years later, 71 years after the Rebbe's first call to action on that same 10th day of Shvat. And as we cut your hair for the very first time, and as you begin your formal Jewish education, Mommy and I stand here filled with deep hope for you, and we want to bless you, dear Yosef. May you live up to your name and birthday. May you grow as a chassid of the Rebbe, internalize the Torah, and dedicate yourself to its mitzvahs. May you use your enthusiasm, your energy, and your effervescent and charming personality to share Judaism with all those around you. Yosef, may your actions be the ones that tip the scale and once and for all finally usher in the era of our redemption, Mashiach.